Okay, hi everyone. Thought I would come on and do a video, a sales video. Um, 10 items uh, of women's clothing that have sold for over £20 on eBay. And I'll let you know what I've paid for them, if I took an offer or sent an offer out, and how long they took to sell. So we'll just jump straight into it. So the first thing is this Korea concept, this woman's cardigan. It's a size small. Uh, it had this big button detail on it. I paid £5 for this one. And this, I think, sold within about two weeks, two weeks of being listed. Uh, it's 55% alpaca. I think this brand is quite heavily focused on their fabric content. Um, so yeah, 55% of alpaca, which is great. And this ended up going to the States. So yeah, a nice brand to look out for, but also with that fabric content being alpaca as well, I think helped, um, helped it sell quickly, really. This Oscar woman's jumper, uh, it was just a plain black jumper. It had a little bit of like an asymmetrical neckline going on there. Uh, I paid £5.50 for this one, uh, and it went for £24.99. Sold again relatively quickly within about two weeks, I think, on this one. There's nothing particularly special about the um, fabric material. It's just viscose, it's a, so it's a stretchy material. Uh, and that's the label for them there, Oscar. Sometimes they use Roman numericals for their sizing in their, in their clothing, so just watch out for that as well. And then next onto this Mark Kane woman's skirt, another brand that does their own sizing. So N2, size 10. Uh, it's just like a knee length polka dot skirt. This one ended up going to Germany. I paid $3.99 for it, listed it in October. So it's taken about four months to sell. And I took an offer on this one at £20. That was an offer that came in to me, not one that I sent out. Um, so £20 plus the international delivery as well. Sometimes this brand sells really fast for me. And then sometimes um, it can take a while to sell, but four months, that's okay with me. I showed these in my last video. I picked these up for £4. These are the Le Creuset salt and pepper um, shakers, mills. I think I had these listed. Uh, yeah, I had these, well... I know I had these listed um, at $33.99 and then I took an offer of £28 on them. They were getting a lot of watches quite quickly but I couldn't be sure if it was watches from the YouTube video of just watching them or whether it was genuine um, people who were interested in them. But yeah, eventually after probably about a week of being listed, um, these ones went for £28 plus post. And I can't remember if I said but I paid £4 for those ones. So this style I think is... Out of the salt and pepper shakers that this brand do, uh, the ones, that, I think these ones are a bit more sought after than the other ones. This woman's pepperberry dress, I paid £2 for this one. I write all my um, dates that they were listed in my SKU so I can see when I listed it. It wasn't a fast selling one. So I listed, again, this one was listed in October, so again, it's taken about four months to sell, but paid £2 for it, and it ended up going for £23. That's the label there, and what this brand does is they, they uh, it's designed for, like, curvy ladies. They have their, um, on their labels, they kind of do things like really curvy, super curvy, I think, is one. So I always put that in the title because I think people searching this brand probably know which type of curvy that they want. These women's MBT shoes, uh, they're like a Mary Jane. Um, they're real leather as well. That's the thing, MBT. I paid £7 for these ones. And these actually ended up going over to Spain. Uh, so yeah, I paid £7 for them. I think they were listed for around about a month or so. Just double check. So um, I listed them on the 16th of December uh, and then these sold on the 20th of January. Yeah, so pretty much uh, for uh, listed for about a month. These are some sort of shoes that help with, I think, like balance or posture. Something like that. So they're spe specifically 
So they're specially designed uh, and people I think who will be buying these shoes will, will know what it is that they want. Some of the older styles I find tend to not do as so well. They can sit around for a long time and not go for as much money. But uh, yeah, these ones, yeah, it only took a month to sell. Um, I didn't get 39.99 for them. I think I sent an offer out and they ended up going for £34. But happy with the profit in those ones. Oi Lily, a girl's coat. I bought this from the car boot and in my SKU it says I paid £8 for it. Uh, and the only reason, I'm just a little bit, I'm not 100% sure that I did pay £8 for it. It just seems a lot at a car boot to pay £8 for a coat, but maybe I thought, no, I know this brand. It's worth paying £8 for it and did pay it. I can't remember. I might have mistyped it in my SKU. I can't remember. Uh, but I had this listed I think originally at about £40. It's got a deer print on it. It's, yeah, it's got the deer print on it there. And I think some of these prints can be quite sought after. Yeah, so hopefully that's the, hopefully you can see there. Hopefully you can see the uh, label there. Oi, Lily. How do I get out of this now? Yeah, I think I originally had it listed at about £40 and would get the occasional watcher here and there, but nothing to, but but not really any bites. Uh, it's been listed since 21st of July, so it's been listed quite a while. I put best offer on, someone sent through an offer of 25 um, free posts and I was happy to take it because it's just time for that one to get gone. And then LK Bennett, a woman's top, size six, so a small size, it's 100% silk, it was quite long line. Someone did make an offer on this, uh, which I accepted, I think at the beginning of December, but they never ended up paying. Um, so I relisted it. I listed this in October, at the beginning of October, I paid £3.50 for it. Uh, and then it went for full price at £25. So yeah, again, took around four months to sell and um, for the person to do actually like complete payment on that one. This fat face woman's jumper, I paid £5 for this one. It was new with tags. Had like the cami underneath it. I didn't realise actually this one got bid up a little bit, only by a pound or two, I think. I can't click on that because it will show the usernames. Uh, but yeah, it was new with tags. So originally it was 42 and then I think Fat Face were trying to do it for 25. And uh, yeah, so that one ended up getting bid up to 21 pounds and they've left positive feedback on that one. So, and again, that went on auction and it sold within its first seven days. So quick, easy, out the door. And then this monsoon dress, I paid £5 for it. It definitely took a while to sell. Let me just see when it was that I listed this. I think it's definitely over six months. Yeah, definitely. So I listed this back in May. And it's just sold now in January. So that took a good while to sell. Someone sent through an offer, or I, accept, or I sent an offer, of £20. And yeah, because it had been sat for such a long time, I decided to go ahead and take it. Yeah, so I listed this in May. So it's had the whole of that summer season 2019 to sell and the winter season 2019 to sell where perhaps this type of dress wouldn't sell over winter. Um, but yeah, January took an offer of 20 uh, and was happy, uh, happy for that one to be finally gone. So yeah, just a different range of items there for how long, you know, not all of them are selling like within a week or so. Some of them are taking four months, some of them are taking six months. So anyway, I hope that information was useful. And if you like this style of uh, screen recording sales videos, um, please give it a thumbs up down below um, and I'll do more of them. And thank you for watching and I will speak to you again soon.